Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage tonight, gonna do a little bit of shooting, but uh, this is more of a, as you can see by the title of this video, this is more of a, a farewell, hail and farewell, like Shane Bruce likes to say. But uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, working on trying to save up the money to get my, my dog's uh, eye surgery done. And I did start a GoFundMe and that's going great. I really appreciate everybody who has uh, helped out there. Uh, I didn't really expect that I, you know, I would get every penny that I would need from there, but I thought it would be a, a, a good start. Uh, there is a link down below if you do want to check that out. But uh, I decided that I would, uh, I'm not going to sell everything, but uh, I would put up some air rifles and to probably do some some real guns uh, or not, I guess I shouldn't say real guns some powder burners uh, eventually too here coming up shortly but <clears throat> wanted to try to raise some funds it's gonna be a several months before at least before maybe even I even get in for a consultation so um, I've got some time here anyway before I need to have all the money but from what I've read the Eye surgery averages about three thousand dollars for for one eye. So, and most people only get one eye done. At least it lets the dog be able to see to go up and down stairs and stuff, and get out and run around, chase a squirrel, and that sort of thing. So, um, I'll put I can put a couple of little videos at the beginning and end of this uh, to let just let you see how kind of pathetic she is bumping into everything, and she really is still a pretty young dog and and still has a lot of life left in her so I really want to get that done so she can enjoy have good enjoyment in life the BB guns are fun the pellet guns are fun but that's a lot more important so um, these are the first of probably many that I will throw up on uh, eBay and, and let go I can always replace them later none of these are priceless uh, irreplaceable uh, guns by any stretch so um, But uh, just got a handful of them here, and we're going to do a couple shots across the garage, kind of as a farewell. And, uh, and then I'm going to pack them up out here and get them shipped out tomorrow. So, um, <clears throat> so the first one that we have up here is uh, probably the oldest. I think it's the oldest one in the group here. Definitely the oldest one in the group here. This is a my Daisy number 100. This is probably the the rarest and hardest to find one in the whole group too but uh this is a daisy number 100 model 38 these were made only for a few years i believe in 1938 started in 1938 but uh these are a single shot very uh kind of crude rudimentary uh bb gun but take your bb and actually load it into the breech and cock it. Hmm. I always like to put the, the BB into the, the breech first and then cock it so that way if you cocked it first and then put your you're putting your hands up in front of a cocked uh, so if the BB fell in there and it fired off, it could hurt your finger or whatever. Ah, there we go. So, the first one hit a little high, but that's okay. So there is the Daisy model number 100, model 38. I didn't necessarily start out with like, you know, the bottom of the barrel. I mean, I didn't want to sell you know my best best of the best guns either so so the next one is a daisy this is a model 25 this one by the date code on it uh, i believe was made in 1974 i do have a couple of older ones i might hang on to those for a little while but this particular one Oop. 
Still shoots good. Send it with a few BBs for the new owner. But there you go, there's the Daisy Model 25. I'm gonna sell some of my nicer stuff too. So I did let this one go. This is a really pretty slick gun. This is a one of my Springers. And I know you guys are saying, oh, no, don't sell the Springers. <laughs> but this is my uh, Slavia Model 618. You know, and like I said, these are all things I can I can replace every one of these down the road. They're for sale on eBay all the time. So if I can make a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars selling off, you know, a couple handfuls of pellet guns and get my dog's eyes fixed, that's very important. This guy is nice. I, I am kind of sad to let this one go, but. It's a, a worthwhile effort, I think. Very accurate. <clears throat> All right, so what else we got here? Let's see, we've got a, uh, one of my Crossman pump-ups here. This one is a Power Master Model 66. And uh, I've had this one for quite a while now. This one was actually part of a group of pellet guns that I got from a guy all in non-functioning condition and I fixed them. I don't think this one actually needed any parts. It just needed to be tore down and cleaned. Most of the ones I got from them did require rebuild kits, but. <laughs> that one went through that big open slit on the can on the left there and only hit the backside. Let's see if we can. That's better. Well, these cans are cooperating pretty good. I don't have to get up and go set them back up again. <laughs> But, uh, so there's the, let me do one more with that one. I do like these Crossman pump-ups, but again, this is one that's pretty still readily available and easy to find on the second-hand market, so I wasn't too... I wasn't too, uh... sad to let that one go. All right, so now this is one actually I just picked up recently and uh, I did a rebuild on it and did a couple good videos on it, but uh, this is a, one of the Crossman 1400s. Um, and this is, like I said, is the most recent one. I do have another one that is, I believe it was in like brand new condition when I got it. It still is in like brand new condition now, but uh, this one, it's got some patina. Let's see, this one's a 22, so I gotta open up a tin of 22 pellets here. Kinda hoping before winter sets in, I'll have that all arranged to get the surgery done. Again, through that, 
went through the crack on that second one and only to hit the back side of it. But, uh, these cans are not nearly as much fun to to hit when you're they're not full of water. There we go. That's better. I'll do one more there. Alrighty. So there we go. There's Crossman 1400. So that one must be twice as good as the next one I'm going to show you guys. Because this one is a Crossman 700. And this one, I bought this one a couple years ago and it was, wasn't was holding air. And I just kind of threw it off in the corner. And uh, after this past winter when I started getting into pellet guns, I did buy a kit for it and finally rebuild it. Um, this one's still got uh, CO2 in it from... I, I can't even remember when it was I actually put the CO2 cartridge in there, but I know you're not supposed to store them with the CO2 in them, but uh, I just kind of forgot. But uh, yeah, this one's got CO2 in it from probably at least two months ago. This one's got it. I'll show you in a second here. This one's got a really interesting loading. <laughs> so, most guns you pull the handle back to cock it. This one you push the handle forward until you hear that click. And then you roll this uh, little thumb wheel here forward and it exposes a little hole there. You drop your pellet in nose first and then roll the thumb wheel back now your pellets in line with the barrel and ready to shoot <laughs> that's the way to finish it off but, all right well i already made this one longer than i expected i would but hope you guys did appreciate the video if you did like share and subscribe Again, take a look at the link for the GoFundMe down below. Um, it's, this is running in, right now it's July of 2022. That'll probably be running through at least August. Uh, if you watch this video later on down the road, um, you can probably disregard, but I do appreciate you watching anyway. But you guys have a great day.